Tell us about your view on the issue of healthcare in Oregon. I mean, you know, we, we've relied on uh, expensive healthcare companies. Uh, we've relied on, um, I guess, the, the ACA that was previously passed by the previous administration. That's been a complete failure, in my opinion. And it's just increased drug prices, it's increased health care. Uh, we've relied on employer provided health services. I'm actually more in favor of a free market solution. I believe in being able to buy uh, insurance across state lines, for example, in terms of bringing down the cost because the more competition you have, the better the market uh, is going to adjust to the cost because each company is trying to outdo the other company mm -hmm. in terms of what they can offer for the lowest cost. What is your stance on gun laws and how do you want to improve them? I'm personally a believer in the Second Amendment, shall not be infringed means just that to me. I uh, carry around a constitution myself, and I've referenced it very frequently. But current gun laws and any additional gun laws basically just affect law-abiding citizens because you have criminals out there that aren't going to follow the law anyway. That's why they're criminals. So if you, if you just increase the amount of gun laws, it's not going to make any sense because the criminals are still going to disobey them. I think training is the key. Um, when you label like a school church or other place as a gun-free zone, that just tells the bad guys that these people are sitting ducks. Mm -hmm. And so I think we have, if we have training, for example, for teachers that are trained in firearms uh, management, fire, using a firearm, and to be able to protect their kids, I'm more in favor of that than basically having gun-free zones. Because I said gun-free zones don't work. So if we can have proper training for teachers, for example, and we can have proper training for uh, school personnel that are there to defend our kids in case somebody comes into the school and is a bad guy that wants to come in there and kill people. It's, it's something we need to protect our kids. And as, as a father of two daughters myself, I, I believe in that wholeheartedly because I want my kids protected. I want them to be able to go to a safe school. What is your stance on the Me Too movement? I have a great respect for women and it's, it's very sad and tragic that women are being sexually harassed out there. It's very sad and tragic that uh, there's violence against women. And I've been, I was watching the Kavanaugh hearings, for example, this morning. Mm -hmm. And I, I see what's happening, but I also see that that movement, like any movement, can be corrupted and can be basically spun on one end of the political spectrum or the other. So I think we need to find that balance in terms of not having the movement corrupted and actually be genuine and actually tell the truth in any movement that we do, including the Me Too movement. What is some things that you would like to tell people? Well, I'd like to tell people that uh, basically, as I said, I, I believe in things like honor and integrity and character. I believe in, I love this country, and I believe that we need to make this country better together by talking with each other and listening to each other. Thank you, it's been great interviewing you. All right, thank you very much.